Hi guys, today we're going to read The Snail and the Whale. This is a tale of a tiny snail and a great big great great big grey blue humpback whale. This is a rock as black as a suit and this is a snail with an itchy foot. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea or the, and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed and sniffed and sighed, the sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny snail. These are other snails and the flock who all stuck tied to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with an itchy foot, Be quiet! Don't wriggle! Sit still! Stay put! But the tiny sea snail sighed and sniffed and cried, I've got it! I'll hit you lift! This is the trail of the tiny snail, a slithery, a, a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, Lift wanted around the world. This is the whale who came on the night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale immense, immensely long who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held it out on the starlit sea and said to the snail, Come sail with me. This is the sea so wild and free that carried the whale and snail on his tail. The towering icebergs and far off lands, the fiery mountains and golden sands. These are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed. The tiny snail on the tail of the whale. These are the caves beneath the waves where stripy fish with feathery fin, feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swam around the whale and the snail on his tail. This is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm, with zigzag lightning flashing and frightening the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. And she gazed at the sky, the sea, the lands, the waves and the caves and the golden sand. She gazed and gazed, amazed by it all, and she said to the whale, I feel so small. But then came the day the whale lost its way. These are the speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear-splitting roar, making him swim too close to the shore. This is this this is the tide slipping away, and this is whale whale lying beached in a bay quick off the sand back to sea cried the snail i can't move on land i'm too big moaned the whale the snail felt helpless and terribly small then i've got it she cried and started to crawl i must not fail said the tiny snail this is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. This is the board as black as a suit. And this is the snail with an itchy foot. A snail, a snail, the teacher turns pale. Look, say the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail saying, save the whale. These are the children running from school, fetching the fireman, digging a pool, squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. This is the tide coming into the bay, and these are the villagers shouting, Hooray! as the whale, the snail, safe, travels safely away. 
Back to the dog and the flock on the rock, she said, how time's flown and haven't you grown? And the way on the snail told a wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves and uh, of how the snail so small and frail with her looping curling silvery trail saved the life of a humpback whale. When the humpback whale held out his tail and on crawled snail after snail after snail. And they sang to the sea as their all set sail on the tail of the grey blue humpback whale. So bye guys, I read the book. Subscribe and leave a like. Bye.